What's good, YouTube? You're kicking it with Afro Boy here. And guys, I know it's been two decades since I released a video, but guess what? I'm back. Sorry about that, but I am here. I am back. I am live, and I have some excellent news, some content for you. All right, now, before we get into this video, y'all always remember this. Be sure to smash that like button, and if you're new, smash that subscribe button. Now, let's officially get into this amazing video. All right, so... A couple days ago, Rockstar released that they are releasing another update. Now, as you can hear my voice, I'm very excited. And let me tell you what this update is. Mansions, yachts. Oh, you thought that was it? No, 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 no. Mansion, yachts, and customizable apartments. Yo, this, this, this is something that we wanted for a while now. Rockstar has finally listened to us, and they're releasing it, all right? So... Now this update is not just about yachts, the um, mansions, the customized apartments, cars. They're actually adding more stuff into it now. Let me tell you. Now there's some. Now that they added this thing, it's called VIPs. Now, reading this from Rockstar's website right now, it says that VIPs who run their operation gain access to new co-op job challenges and special abilities in free mode. I wonder what these special abilities are. But as well as having the power to hire. And fire other players for their bodyguards. So now you can hire people to be your bodyguard. If you know, if you got a lot of money, you can hire people. Now, now if you're hired as a bodyguard, you're just not gonna be a person that's gonna be there. You're not gonna make any money. You're actually gonna get paid. You're gonna earn GTA cash, RP, and stats that boost for working in the VIP's organization. Now this is awesome. They actually added something that seems interesting into GTA. Added something that's gonna make gta life expectancy come back up um you know yeah yeah life expectancy lasts longer than what it was because it seems like every when an update releases the update lasts for like a month and after that the life expectancy goes down but when the update releases it go back up but this one seems like it might have a little a little a little longer life expectancy if they release another update updates like they do frequently right now they start releasing updates frequently then it would keep the life expectancy up and people playing because after like a while i stopped playing the game because uh, it, it gets boring it gets too repetitive um trying to get the money up in order to buy the new stuff and update that's another thing i'm pretty sure these yachts these mansions all of that is going to be expensive the yachts probably going to be probably now this is speculation probably going to be like 15 million all right, the apartment, the mansion is probably going to be a couple mil. That shouldn't be too much. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they're going to be high prices. And to me, GTA doesn't have enough content for you to stay on this game and grind out and get money to stack that high. Because the updates that they release doesn't really keep your attention for long. So, if they start releasing updates that actually keep your attention for a while and you be able to stack your money, then these other updates that releases... They're gonna. It's gonna be a reason for people to actually be able to buy it, and people won't be, you know, like me, won't be able to buy it. But the only thing they're trying to do is Rockstar. They're just worried about money. That's all they think about. They don't think about us as a customer. They just want you to buy them shark cards. If you buy them shark cards, then they're gonna keep, you know, rolling out these updates because the shark card is the key to buying the stuff that comes on the update. So that's the only reason why they make these prices so high. But back to this. All right. Now organizations can go ahead. Go head to head in free mode with new missions that make full use of the latest executive defense options, including new armored vehicle variants, the devastating um, limo, and the missile defense system on a super yacht. So this sounds like a, a territory war. It pretty much sounds like gang wars. That's all it sounds like to me, gang wars. But instead of gang wars, a more, um, how would you say it, a more advanced and fancy way organizations so pretty much it's like say if you're a drug organization because this is gta so drug organization and you're fighting against another drug organization so it just seems like this update is going to be interesting it's going to keep us in tune for a while and hopefully the payouts for these things are excellent i like how they added the free mode events from last updates because it's a good way to get money just for being in free roam and not having to leave the free roam in order to, you know, get money. So that's a good way to get money, but the payouts are still low. If they would have increased some of the payouts for some of them um, free roam events, then it would be excellent. But just like I said, Rod Star, you need to increase the payouts. If you increase the payouts, you would keep people in this game, man. So that that's, that's like the sad part about it. You know that this stuff is going to be very and highly expensive. 
But um, here goes some other stuff. Some existing free modes um, events will automatically adapt when a player, when played by organizations, allow for new ways to take King of the Castle movement targeting and more. Also included in the new extension advisory mode. Um, tasking teams of bodyguards to search, locate, and safely extract an executive from their down jet before a hit squad intercepts and eliminates targets. So, it's like I said, this sounds like it's going to be an excellent update. Now, sadly, this is only for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Now, guys, yep, so it's official that last gen has been dropped off uh, pretty much um, everything. They, they've been dropped off everything, but... I see that Sony and the Microsoft they actually doing a good thing. They dropped the prices for holidays, so you gotta you better you gotta hop on it right now. You gotta hop on the PS4 or the Xbox One right now. They're three hundred dollars a piece, and they come with games like they're three hundred dollar bundles. So if you if you're a last in person and you're trying to wait it out, I suggest you get one right now because it's it's excellent deals. You can you come you come on man. A bundle for three hundred dollars? I wish I would have got a bundle for three hundred dollars. I got my PS4 when it first came out, four hundred dollars. Um, actually, it was more than four hundred dollars because I had to buy the remote control, PlayStation Plus, and all that extra. But now this is all bundled and packed for three hundred dollars. So, if this would be the perfect time to buy a PS4, or Xbox One, and then it's Christmas time, so you know you can get one for Christmas because the prices have dropped. So, you already know who it was. It was Afro Boy in this video. I don't know why I'm talking to third person. Why? But yeah, it's the one only Afro Boy. And I'm out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to smash that like button if you're new. Smash the subscribe button. And I'm out. Peace.